it's recording yet. I'm at the uh, tomb of Mary Schisler. And yes, that is her name, Mary Schisler. Um, oh, bless. I know. Um, I'm sure you got lots of She just said, it's not very aristocratic now, is it? No, it's really not. That's Rachel. And that's Lyndall. She feels like she knows you too. I can assure you, love, you've been dead for over 80 years. You don't know these two. Your energy seems familiar, Lyndall, to her. Have you been here before? No, just up the road, but not actually here. Have you been here before? She seems really focused in on you. On me? Hmm. She likes it. I'm a nice person. <laughs> Okay. She was a nurse, training to be like a blink. She could be a doctor, but she was a nurse. She was a nurse. And what she's picking up on is the problems that you've had. Can I say this on camera? Okay. The problems that you had trying to conceive and the losses. Uh -huh. You're going to have the same thing. That's what she's picking up on. I hope not. Maybe she's telling you now, you can do something about it earlier. She doesn't mean to alarm you. I'm not alarmed, I'm already prepared. Thank you though. It's like she, that's why she's, it's like she knew you. She could sense the energy, like you've got connected energy through that. Wow. You're a freak. <laughs> I had a baby, it's okay. 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 That's interesting, isn't it? Wow, I've never had a ghost actually say medical problems before, and then she's a lovely lady. Lovely, lovely lady. Would always bend over backwards to help. That's probably what she's still doing now. Yeah. She said, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Not at all. She's lovely. She's just like right there. She's, she's a buxom woman. She's a buxom and woman. And you like them? And she, I do. And I'm a boob man. I'm gay, but I'm a boob man. And she used to cradle people. She used to cradle people with her love all the time. Constantly. They come from a very well-to-do family. I know, I can feel my spirit mm. finger going and going and going. That's my spirit finger. Not those spirit fingers from like Bring It On, but that's my spirit finger. Spirit finger. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave this part of the cemetery and we're going to carry on. Um, this woman here, Mary Shitler. Sorry. Mary, have you got your children buried with you? Because there's a couple of kids around. Yes. She, ah! Okay, isn't that funny? She also lost a lot of children as well. Miscarried, uh, carried them to full term, stillborn births, things like that. And that's why she picked it up in you, Lyndall, and that's what she's picking up in you. I hope you don't mind her saying that. No? It's a bit late now, isn't it, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't mind. We've already discussed that before, remember? No. Yes, yeah, sometimes there's no filter. Mm. Mm. I don't, when I do readings, I can't, I forget them. I don't forget people, I forget what came through for them. No, you brought that up with me last time that I was going to have lots of problems. Oh, did he? No, well, there you go. Did I? No, no, well, I, I don't so know. I did. I remember it vividly. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Yes, people like me do truly exist. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Thanks, Mary. Yeah, sure. Come back anytime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, um, we're going to continue on there. <laughs> Down there. No. <laughs> this is Crumpet. She's decided to come with us today on our little ghosty walk thingy. We wanted to do something freaky, but I wasn't quite sure that I was prepared for this kind of freaky. But, um, it's fine. My head in my vibe. Just wait till you get to the... I'm fine. Wait till you get to the convicts and the Buggo Road people. And yeah. You might have um, to stay away th from As there. I said, there is a lot of, like, convicts and people that are, um, of less than a, a good nature. But that's okay. I'm tough. You're white-lighted, baby. I'm white-lighted. We're white-lighted. Okay, so we're going to go now. So bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>